Hi guys, today I'll show you how you can charge your mobile phone at free of cost. Well, almost free of cost. Yes, you are right. We are going to use solar electricity to charge our phone. In this video, I'll show you the unboxing and installation of a 10 watt solar system which you can use to charge your mobile phone. Let's get started. So here I have a solar panel manufactured by Loom Solar. In case you don't know about them, Loom Solar is currently one of the most famous solar panel manufacturing startups in India. They started in 2018 and they are going great now. In fact, they won the prestigious Golden Bridge Award in 2019. The main reason of their popularity is their quality of panels. Although I've never used their panels before, but I have heard some really good reviews about them. And in this video, I'm gonna test it out. Alright, let's open the package. It was shipped by Blue Dot and took just one day to deliver. I got it directly from their website but you can also purchase from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. This is the 10 watt panel and you can get it for around uh, 1000 rupees from Amazon. Well I'm impressed with the packaging. It's very well packed. That means it will take some more time to open it. Alright, finally got rid of the wrapper. 10 watt mentioned over here. And here are some certifications of the company. This panel comes with a 25 years of performance warranty. That's really nice. And here are some more product information. This is a polycrystalline solar cell, so multiple silicon crystals are melted together to make the cells. And this is a 13 inch by 10 inch panel. The MRP mentioned here is 1000 INR. Let's open it. And here we go. We have nothing else inside the box. Let me get rid of it. The panel quality seems really good. Let's check the back. We have the technical specification sheet here. This is a 10 watt panel and the maximum power voltage is 20 volt and the maximum power current is 0.5 ampere. I'll verify this facts during installation. This is the connection box. I'll come back to it later. We have the big Loom Solar branding over here. Let's see what's written in the warranty card. The serial number sticker is pasted here and the customer information form. You can find the address and the contact details here. Here are some detailed information about the warranty. So it seems that in case of something happens within 12 months, you don't have to pay anything. But after that period, you have to pay 500 rupees visit charge for the assessment. And then in case the panel fails to produce at least 90% of the minimum power output, then it will be covered by the performance warranty of 25 years from the date of delivery. And like every other products, if any damage happens due to your mishandling, the warranty will not be honored. That's fair, I think. I'm really impressed with the panel quality. And this frame is quite sturdy. I think it's made of aluminium. Let's check the connection box. You can slide it open like this. Here we have two terminals. The right one is the positive and the left one is the negative. Let's put it back. In the front side we have the Loom Solar branding on the top. And these are polycrystalline solar cells. Obviously it's less efficient than monocrystalline cells, but it's much cheaper. Here are total 36 cells of blue color. 
In case you don't know, monocrystalline cells comes with black color. If we consider the price, the quality is pretty decent. Check the panel quality by yourself. Before testing it, let me quickly measure its weight. See the main purpose of having a 10 watt panel is the portability so that you can carry it with you for outdoor purposes. So the weight is pretty important here. Ok, just like it was specified, the weight is approximately 1 kg. You can easily carry it with you. Now I will show you a small demo how you can charge your mobile phone with this panel. But before that I think I should discuss a little about solar power systems. Well, there are two types of solar systems, on-grid and off-grid system. Actually there is another type called hybrid systems but for the sake of the simplicity let's just say we have two types of solar systems. In simple words in on grid system you are directly using the produced electricity from the panel to your grid or system and in an off grid system you are using a battery to store the electricity and then use it to your system. Off grid system is better for house cause you can use it during night but because of the need of a battery this type of system is costly. So in this demonstration I will show you a bare minimum on grid system. So let's go to the roof. A few moments later. So I am on my rooftop. As you can see I have connected two wires to the panel connector. The left one is the negative terminal and the right one is the positive terminal. So I have connected the red wire to the positive connector and the black wire to the negative terminal. Now you cannot directly charge your phone with this panel because it produces 20 volt DC current. But mobile phones require 5 volt DC current. So what do we need? Well in ideal scenario we need a device called solar charge controller. It looks something like this. You can get it at 5 to 600 rupees from Amazon. And in local market you can get it from around 400 rupees I think. Unfortunately I didn't get the time to purchase one so I'll use a makeshift solution. But you must use the solar charge controller cause without a controller it will damage your device. Or if you are using a battery and you are not using a solar charge controller, charging at wrong voltage will kill the battery. So better safe than sorry and buy a solar charge controller. Anyway I don't have it with me. So I'll use this cord charger. This will help me to get 5 volt USB output. So we have 3 terminals here. This one is the positive terminal and this side terminals are negative. Let me connect the wires. So I'll connect the positive wire to the positive terminal and this black wire to the negative terminal. Like this. For your convenience you should tape these wires. Just like this. So that you don't have to hold it all the time. Let me connect the USB charging cable to the port. And we need to connect the other end to our phone. But before that, let's flip the panel so the cells get sunlight. Remember as soon as you put the panel towards sunlight, it will start discharging. Here I connected things without any particular order. But if you are using a battery and controller, then connect the battery terminal wires through the charge controller first. And then connect the solar panel to the charge controller. Now if you ask me why, then it will take 5 more minutes to explain. So I'll keep this discussion to another video where I'll show you an off-grid solar system. Let's connect our phone and see if it works. Ok the TF was getting loose so I removed it. I'll connect it with my bare hands but this is not recommended for anyone. I'm doing this cause it's only 20 volt and the current is pretty low. Our body can resist up to 48 volts provided the current is very low. So not just the current and voltage individually but their combined value is pretty important. So basically what I'm saying, without knowing anything, do not touch live wires with your bare hands. Let's connect the cable to the phone. Great. You can see the phone turned on. I'm not sure if this is visible to you due to bright sunlight but I can see it's charging from solar cells. So there you go guys, this is how you can charge your mobile phone with solar electricity. Let's turn on the phone and try again. So I have turned on the phone, let's check. See the device is charging. 
Now this Lohm solar solar panel produces 10 watt DC electricity. So you can connect any DC devices which takes up to 10 watt current. I mean DC current. But remember you cannot connect any normal household AC bulbs to it. For that you need a DC to AC inverter device. Alternatively you can use DC bulbs. Alright now let's connect 12 volt DC fan to it and test. So this is a 12 volt 0.6 ampere PC case fan and I'm gonna connect the wires. Black to black, red to red. You can see the fan is moving. The airflow is pretty decent I think. It means it's getting the required 12 volt. Alright our test and review is almost over. Just one thing left. Let me see exactly how much voltage I'm getting out of this panel. It will give us an idea about the efficiency of this panel. Today is pretty cloudy so I don't hope it will give us the full rated voltage. So I've connected a multimeter to the panel, the red probe with the live wire and the black probe to the negative. Let's set it to DC 20 volt. Wow, even at this cloudy weather, it's giving approximately 20 volt, which is the rated voltage. This is amazing. So guys, this is a really good solar panel from Loom Solar. If you want to purchase one and dive into solar energy world, go ahead. The link is in the description. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see more solar energy related videos in my channel. And if you have any other questions, feel free to ask. I'll definitely reply when I get time. Like this video and please subscribe so that this much effort doesn't go in vain. See in my next video. Thank you.